Now I'm going to bid on this NFT. And when I scroll down, it'll say make offer. So here's the NFT. This is the final day of it. And just let you see the content. List, 71 have viewed it, so forth. Okay, then I click make an offer. And then I have to connect to a wallet. And it shows different wallets that I can connect to. I'm going to use MetaMask. So I'll go into my MetaMask extension and click connect. I'm not, and I've added MetaMask to this browser so that I can do the connection. MetaMask is a add-on to a browser that gives you a wallet so you can do a lot of things on the web with crypto. And this is the one I pick. Okay. Now I've connected my MetaMask to this and I'm going to ascend, I'm going to send some ETH, Ethereum, over to it so that I'll have some money to bid on it from another wallet I have. So this shows it. I can, if I click make an offer, say now it tells me this is new and they don't have enough confidence on it. No problem. Uh, this is the creator. I've reviewed the information on this and I'm going to continue. Now I can make a offer here. I'm going to do that and click uh, this WETH, which I've talked about in other things. It's called Wrapped Ethereum, and that's going to let me do a conversion. So now I'm going to pause the video and go to another wallet and transfer some Ethereum over to the MetaMask wallet. So I have funds in the MetaMask wallet to bid on. I'm now going to send $90 over to MetaMask and I need to get the address to send it to from MetaMask and then paste it in, click continue, put in a description for my notes, then click continue to send it, then confirm that I want to send it. Now it's on its way, minus the cost of sending. Now we're back and waiting for it to arrive. So I transferred Ethereum from one wallet over to the MetaMask phone base wallet. It's processing on the blockchain and it's here. It didn't take very long. It blinked and it showed up. So now we have uh, the money minus the, the gas to transfer. So here, you know, $90 dropped down to $89.77. But again, this is done for demonstration to be able to make a bid on my own NFT, so I can show the side of bidding on an NFT. So I'll hit confirm, then say my amount. I have to put it in the in Ethereum amount. I'm going to use a Google dollar to Ethereum conversion tool. $60 in Ethereum would be approximately 0 0.027 in the conversion. So we'll use that over here and put in that amount. Okay, that's close. $60.32. That's interesting. 6.5, 6 6.8, 6.96. 6 there, we got it pretty close. Look at that. $60. $60.01. Offer expires in seven days. Check this box. I agreed to convert. And now we click convert. A utility will pop up. And then let me convert the Ethereum I have in my MetaMask wallet to wrapped Ethereum that's required to place my bid. Now we're going to connect the wallet. MetaMask is how we're connecting the wallet. It pops up. We got the account initializing. Click next. Say connect. Now we're converting and connecting. It's converted to wrapped. This is pretty wild. It's a wrapped Ethereum. Say wrap. We got it. Okay, gas fee is $1.21, and we have to hit continue. Pending, it's pending. Going over to make a bid. Very exciting. Do, 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 do. See, I could speed it up, but that would cost more. Now it's pending for, so it's 409, about 408 when this started. We'll come back to it. I'm going to pause the recording now. All right, this is Martin Brossman. I just placed a bid on my own NFT. I placed a bid in the format they required, which is the wrap Ethereum uh, of about $51. And it's showing up here. This is looking at it 
as a customer coming to the site. This isn't me signed in as the owner of this NFT being sold. So I'll show you this in incognito so you can see it. Now the I'm in incognito. Now the world can see that this person five minutes ago bid on it. Now we're going to look at it from the perspective of the owner of the NFT. So what I do is MetaMask is the wallet that I'm using to interface. Now I'm going to switch to the other account and watch you'll sign in when I switch to the other account. Now it's signing in as me, the owner of it. Notice the word edit shows up here. So let's see what it says. So it shows the offer and I can accept it or not. That's extraordinary. The final thing for me to do now is to accept the offer I just made on my own NFT, and that will complete this activity and educational experience of both creating an NFT and bidding on and buying an NFT, which is what my goal was.